How's it going, gamer? You got hands here, and today in Dauntless, we're going to go over how to boop every behemoth, when to, how to, and even when to use the concussive grenades. So get ready! So most behemoths have a red flashing indicator on their face like you're going to see here when it's ready for them to be booped. But some of them don't. But in this video, I'll show you all the different ways to boop the behemoth. So for Riftstalker, you can boop him every time he comes out of his portal. So get ready, use a heavy attack and make sure you time it just right. It's easy with the hammer, the axe, and the sword. Other weapons might take a little more practice. For his other boop, it's when you're in the realm of nightmares or whatever you want to call it. Pay attention to the pink portal. The one that turns that color is the one that Riftstalker comes out of. And it's almost like the same one before. You get that split second chance to hit him and boop him so you and your team can get some extra damage. And yes, Chain Blades and Warpike can boop a behemoth without weighted strikes. All you have to do is a dash or a dodge and then a light attack. So for Valamir, he'll use his skill where he puts his laser things all around above him and that's when you know you can boop him because then there you see that red flicker on his face. This one's not that important because it doesn't happen that often and it's not that significant of a boop as compared to other behemoths. But it's still worthy and it still works great. So here we got Skarn. Everybody knows how he does his tornado move in the beginning, and that's very easy to boop. You have to use a heavy attack, of course, but you can always bring a grenade, a concussive grenade, and hit it. See, I lost my chance to throw it. But if you time it just right, you can stop him from hitting it, because otherwise he's going to almost kill you and do significant damage to your entire team. But it's quite easy to avoid if you just time it just right. Skarn also has another way to boop him, guys. And it's not just when he's in his tornado move. Remember, when he raises up on his hind legs, make sure you hit his hind legs and you can knock him down. And make sure you're not in the wrong spot because he can fall onto you or your teammates if you're on the opposite direction. So you hit Shroud when he glides past you, when you're in the dark dome of death or whatever you want to call it. His, remember, his eyes glow pink so you can tell which direction he's coming from. And normally he'll do like a shoulder charge at you and then he'll do the glide move. And the glide move is when you use your interrupt heavy attack or a concussive grenade or the, the dodge and the attack move so you can boop him and we all know how very important it is to boop Shroud because man he is a difficult foe so when Karabek's aether charge he grows his razor wings and when he drags them like that you're supposed to hit him with a heavy attack and that's what boops Karabek I would definitely suggest to learn this boot because if not Karabek is just flying back and forth all over the hunt field you know and he just drives you crazy so it's really essential boot so you can stop him from moving and actually beat him quickly. So here we have Kasha and he does this really great intro lunge that is really easy to boot you know with a concussive grenade or with your weapon. And remember as I suggested before always look out for the red flashing symbol just like now and this is his second boot. This is the second way to knock him down, and if you do enough damage, that's how that boop works. You can knock him off his root thing before he toss out his poison skill move, but it definitely stops him from moving as well, so you can do some extra damage. So here we have Stormclaw now. He's a fast behemoth, I tell you, and he has a few boops as well, and you definitely have to get him down because in Heroics, he is tough to beat, and that is one of them. He has a good intro charge boop that allows you to hit him. Again, look out for the red flashing lights. You can use a concussive grenade or your heavy attack. So when Stormclaw runs around five times and creates his fence, on his last lunge, he's going to do a boop mechanic to where you can hit him, as you just saw right there. But unfortunately, if he goes outside the fence, you got to break a fence and then go hit him. So be prepared for that. All right, so here we got Nene. He doesn't have very many boops that you can do to him, but he does have one that's based off of his skill. When he drops his four pylons, which charges him up when he's in his aether state, you destroy those pylons and it'll cause a boop type stun effect to Nene and so you can start knocking some good damage down on him. That is the one boop he does have and that's all we got besides, you know, hitting him with the orbs, but that's just a little bit of damage. So before they lunge to fly, you can see his face. You can boop him right then and there with just enough damage or when he swipes down at you just like that. So Scrave and Shrike have the same boot mechanics and you can utilize them in the same way. So remember when they're standing there right before he spreads his wings to fly up, his face is flashing red so you can do just enough damage to knock him down. And Nasher, he'll lunge up and then slide on the floor and again look at the face flashing mechanism, the red marks. And he is very easy to boot because he does that a lot. 
but the timing has to be perfect because he's really quick little guy I tell you what so we got Embermane next right he's pretty basic everybody knows how to boop him I mean he's in the beginning of the game he gives you many opportunities to boop him you can definitely use a grenade if you're too slow or just like I've said this whole video use your heavy attack time it perfect and that is the way to beat all these behemoths so you can do at maximum damage so for Malcarion's boops, what he does is he leans back, spreads his wings, and then he flies at you. He drags his belly across the ground. That's when you're supposed to boop him. It is pretty hard, but that is exactly when you do it and you do good damage. The second time is when he grabs one of your teammates. This is a damage boop. If you do enough damage to him, it'll knock him down and save your teammate and allow you to unleash some incredible damage. And this one's a lot easier than the other one. And sometimes consider maybe letting your teammate get grabbed so y'all can boop them to get that free damage. Alright gamer, I hope this video was helpful for you and you're able to learn how to boop all the behemoths and knock them down so you can maximize your damage. If you have any other video suggestions or anything, don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button, throw a comment down below, and hit that bell for notifications so we can stay together as a crew. This is Hans signing out. Peace!